Do you need funding for your real estate deals? Future Cash Flow Funding has exactly what you need. Whether you're looking to fix and flip, new construction loan, or if you even have rental properties, you can get the financing you need today. FutureCashFlowFunding.com. Check it out. FutureCashFlowFunding.com. Hello, this is Evan. Hey, Evan, this is Chris. You have put in a form about your house on uh, Leroy. Said you were looking to sell it quickly. Just calling back to see how I can help. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it, it, if I can get, I don't know. I, if if I get the right price, I'll sell it. Hey, Chris, is that you? Yeah, what's going on? I want to. Uh, I bought it. I fixed it up. Uh, it's real nice. I'm about to move in. Uh, I've been having some power problems trying to get it on, but I finally figured out what I need to get. That just comes with the city of Pagedale. So they're giving you problems with getting an occupancy permit? Is that what I'm hearing? They they were giving me problems because they changed their uh, codes and I guess some of the electrical companies don't know what the fuck they're doing. Mm. So I bounced around in between one. Now I'm waiting for another one to come do a job and so I can get my power turned on so I can get everything done so I can get the occupancy. How long have you been working on that for? Uh, I got it. Four months now. Oh, okay. So not too long. So this was something you were planning on just moving in to live in, or you were planning on like flipping it from the very beginning? Well, uh, I'm not opposed to anything. I'm never nailed down. So, I mean, I bought it to flip, and then I actually bought it to rent take the money back out and go get another one but I'm kind of doing this on my own dollar right now instead of going out and getting someone else's money and doing it and it definitely gets more expensive than it appears originally doesn't it yeah and I finished her up I'm, I'm, I'm on the last like a thousand dollars would put my power on, and then after that, it's fucking golden. Yeah, I mean, I definitely understand because I, I got about forty thousand tied up in the house right now, so I'm waiting to get that thing just like Jeez. you. <laughs> yeah, I got about ten into this house, and I bought it for about fifteen. Oh, okay, that ain't bad. No. So yeah, Not I mean. So I mean, I mean, if we were able to work out uh, the details and stuff, how soon would you be looking to close and be done with it? It just all depends on. I would like to get fifty after closing costs and everything. But um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it all depends on if you guys can give me an offer or not. Oh yeah, we can definitely get you an offer on it. Um, Cause it's not it's not more of what I want to do. It's more of a what money is the right decision to make. Right. And so, as far as timeline to have it closed and done with, I mean, you got like thirty days, longer than that, shorter than that. What kind of timeline are you on? I'm probably on a month to two months right now. Oh okay. One to two. Just because I have to go and look at get another paycheck to bring the shit in, in again so one month we'll to have the power and everything turned on and cleaned out and done and I'd be probably moving in on the second month oh okay so otherwise you would just sell it as is not move in it and, and then just be done with it cash your money out and start over on another project yeah I thought about it going out and going get a house out in St. Charles holding it for like 
try to get a fixer up or fix it up a little bit and try to sell it in 30 and 90. I mean, I'm getting my license. I just passed my test, so I have oh, to go get my state test in a little while, but. So is this the first one you try to uh, fix up like that? Yeah, I'm 20. I just started. So yeah, you that's why it's taking a while. Good learning experience, ain't it? <laughs> oh, it's fucking a blast. I loved it. Yeah, you I've learned done a lot everything real myself. Quick. <laughs> that's how yeah. I was on my first one. I was like, golly, everything costs a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I stayed pretty low on what I actually had to do, but I got fucking lucky. So understand that and so i'm trying to see here um what are those what, what is the bedroom and bathroom count there uh three bedroom one and a half bath oh so this is a big right room. under yeah right under a thousand it's actually really roomy it's like eight foot ceilings thousand square foot fucking massive basement up and coming area i actually want to keep it but the money don't work out for me. It don't work out for me. You know, sometimes it's better just to cut your losses, though, too. Sometimes you can say, you know what? I made something on it. Keep it moving. Go put in the next project, and you'll know different steps for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does this, house, does this house have a basement? Yes. Okay. I just pulled it up on the internet. Here. I'm looking like it looks like it's on a slab, but okay, it does have a basement. No, it does have a basement. Okay, cool. The, uh, if you look, I don't know which website you're on, but, uh, my buddy just sent me another website and it was a really old picture. If you go to auction.com, I bought it off of auction.com. Oh, wow. How was that experience? Fucking great. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'll do it again. Well, I'm going to tell you a secret. I go on auction.com. I find the sellers on there that have an auction. You're ready to go to auction. I call them and buy yeah. it directly from them without going through auction.com. Mmm. I like See? that. Come on, now. I I'm like gonna that. Help you out. I'm going to help you. I like that. Thing. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm, I'm new to this, dude. I, I, I should... I, the, the world tells me I shouldn't even be in it. And I'm telling the world to kiss my ass on this one. Well, I'm from, I've only been in the game a little over five years, but I will give you one small advice, uh, Evan. Real estate is a team sport. You got to have some killers on your mm -hmm. team. You can't do it all by yourself. That's really the trick to this whole business. Yeah, I'm trying to get what I would like to do. What I really want to do is get the money to go to the DSCRs and go get multifamilies. But I don't have the money to get to that point yet. So what I'm trying to do is get a crew, because I'm young, and all my buddies need money. So I'm trying to get my idiotic buddies to hop on and fucking help me for a little while. And fucking, I know I can mow through houses if I do that. Yeah, that's the whole thing, as long as you get some good help. Cause, uh, yeah, that's cause really I'm not fucking around. I'll, 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 I'll lose buddies over this. I'll, I'll yell at y'all. <laughs> I mean, you're fucking around with my money. They know. I know that. Yeah, because, uh, you know, that's one of the hardest things I found in this business is dealing with the con tractors. They might con you. They tell you, oh, it's going to be yeah. 20 grand, and then they, you give them some money, and you don't see them again. Then you got to go find somebody and, you know, do something bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I did everything myself. I'm not fucking around with any contractors because I'm not uh -oh. really trying to pay that extra 30% labor. I'd rather yeah. keep that 30% labor for myself. And I, I got blessed with someone that knows the game and he does it fucking, I mean, we did one last year, 28 days in out and closed and we had to put up walls, fix foundations and shit. Oh, wow. You do that heavy lifting construction work pretty much at that point. Yeah, we did everything. And he, he had that shit done in 28 days, closed and made 28.5 on it. Wow. And I was like, why aren't we doing this every month? Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, that would be smart. But he has another business that's going on. He owns uh, St. Charles Power Wash that he runs throughout the year. Not throughout the year, only the four months that's exposed to. And that's the best thing to have is another business outside of real estate. Use that money to put in the real estate. 
that was the plan with moving to this house to uh, get dogs, start the dogs, and be able to do whatever I want to make my money to get there. So like I feel like home right now. What got you started in real estate to begin with? Um, I loved it. I, I, the biggest transactions are of real estate. I mean, St. Louis is the fourth best market in the United States. Really? We always we go up at up? a second. We've moved up to the, to the best in the state. We have, we're, no, up. we're the fourth best in the country. Oh, wow. We have, uh, we have the highest or one of the highest, uh, uh, expansion rate or not expansion rates what is it uh, like our our real estate goes up five to seven percent annually so if in a if you buy a, a house in st louis after 10 years the house will double in the right areas but you have to buy in the right areas but if you're from st louis you know the right area and you cash flow while you wait, right? You're right. And that's what I want to do with the DSCRs is I want to be able to get into the DSCRs, buy the DSCRs, uh, and new construction, throw a renter in there for the next five years because you've got a 10-year warranty on new construction. And then um, after five years, either refinance, think about it, or do a 1059 exchange and buy more of them. And now after that, I'm doing, you buy yeah. three three houses off that one house that you just made a shitload of money off of. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I finally pulled up the pictures you were talking about. This house had that much mold in it? Yeah. And now the walls are flawlessly white. So you, you cleaned all that stuff up now then? It's all gone. It's not even there anymore. So what would you I have to do to sell. Get up to finish? I know you said something about the power. Anything else I would have to do to repair this house? If you bought it right now, which it'll be done by the time you would even think about buying it. Uh, I got one piece of siding, uh, HVAC, and an AC unit. And then the mast needs to get put on, but that's nine hundred and fifty dollars from uh, Robbins Roberts Electric. So you still need HVAC and AC unit? Is that what I just heard? Now that yes, but the HVAC, I don't know. It may turn on, and hopefully the hot water heater turns on. They both look brand new. I just haven't had power to the property yet. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So the HVAC, AC unit, hot water heater, some siding on the outside and some issue with the power which probably will be resolved here soon yeah well I mean I, I think it's something we can handle I mean I just you know I don't know because I'm looking at some numbers now maybe we have to get I mean I know you say you want to get 50 I mean is that the best you think you can do on a price on it uh yeah because that's where I want to exit out of. I mean, if I don't get 50 now, I'm going to sit here for a year, get dogs, and start bringing in the income. And then just sell it when I get to that point. Because the neighborhood, they're building back over towards this neighborhood. And the rent in the area, like you saw it, it's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. So a- any foothold into this area is a great foothold to have. Yeah, I actually graduated from Normandy, so I'm familiar with uh, the Paysdale sure. and all of these areas. Yeah. yeah, I'm a CBC boy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So this house here, I mean, I mean, and I'm just ballparking, and I haven't done the actual numbers. I mean, realistically, if I was just looking at this as a you know as a raw deal mm-hmm. just to buy it, I mean, I would probably be. In the thirty-five thousand range, yeah, forty thousand range. There. I mean, is that something you think you could consider? No. Uh, no, I have to exit out uh, higher. Just because after I pay my shit down, I would have only made like five grand over four months. So it, it's not even worth it for me. So it, it 
it would be more worth it for me to move in, live there, and then start in it, uh, revenue streams and do it that way. But this was, I saw this on an ad watching a YouTube video last night, and I just fucking threw it in there. I was like, fuck it. Let's see. See what happens, what right? Ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> no. So, so I'm thinking, though, I mean, if we were able to just buy it as is, you don't have to do anything else to it, cash, and pay the clothes. Because if you could buy, if I could buy it as is, as fucking 35, I would, if I had the money. But uh-huh. I, this thing isn't, I, with the area that's coming up, because I don't know if you've been back by Page Jail in a while. We just they, did a deal last year, yeah. Well, last year, they changed everything, I guess, in the last couple months, or the last six, eight months. Uh-huh. Did you have to fuck around with the power and everything, make a mash go straight up through the roof and everything? Yeah, it gotta be 10 feet high, I believe, something like that. Yeah, they told me it was 12 foot up, up off the meter, and I was like, okay, it's fine. Yeah, everybody's got them too low, I think. And, they, and, they, and that's a lot of yeah. places like that across St. Louis. They're changing up. that, and then they have a big old company come in. And because I even tried buying a, my lot next to me, and mm-hmm. they won't even let me purchase it, saying that companies have to buy them. Really? Yes. What do they mean by that? So they have a company that came in. Uh, they, it's not a company. It is a. It's a. a a non-for-profit family trust that uh, came in, bought up a whole bunch. The city sold them a whole bunch of land. They're tearing down lots, putting up brand new homes, and they are building thirty-six brand new townhomes on the other side of Page Two right now. Wow! It's booming. They put in a movie theater. They put in a. Uh, yeah, they're they're killing it with this area. Yeah, I thought they're like cracking too. down on. They're cracking. Okay, I had to go to the town hall meeting. I didn't really want to, but I had to. I was trying to get my power turned on, and I kind of running out of money, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I was, I was going to try to politics the game through and see if I could do it, and they fucking wouldn't even budge. Hey, Chris, yeah, you? they get like that sometimes. A lot of times they want you to grease that palm. You didn't hear that from? Oh me, yeah. <laughs> that mayor that mayor is fucking cracking down I don't even think I can yeah. they're the, all of them they're like a team fucking battling this shit it's weird yeah. man. so Evan if there is a way I mean if we can if we could buy the house pay the closing costs all cash mm-hmm. and you be done with the house as is I mean would you even consider like 40,000 no no, because I really want to get 75 out of them, and I truly do believe I can after them 12 months. Yeah. I mean, after the 12 months, I'm going to HELOC the house and get money out of it that way. So, oh, okay. I mean, I can get 25 out of it in the next month. So uh, an offer of 40 is 15 grand above that. I mean, it, it doesn't make financial sense to me. I can keep the house for that 15 grand that you're going to give me. I can keep the house and have my 25 heat locked. So basically what I'm hearing is you really rather just keep the house. It, it For that, yes. For that offer, correct. But I would like to keep your number just in case. Yeah, keep my phone number here. That's my direct number. And I'm going to text you my company website, all of that stuff too, once this phone mm-hmm. call ends. But um, I mean... So, so 50 is your bottom number on it. Yeah, 50 is my bottom number right now. So if there was a way we could get up to 50,000 in a more creative way, um, what we've done in the past in situations like this, we've given people you know, a little bit of money down yeah. and then cut payments over time. Would you be open to something like that where you wouldn't have to deal with this house anymore? I'd have to think about it, but yeah. I'd have to sit down and run my numbers. Yeah. And so what I'll do here, uh, Evan, is I'll, I'll see what we can offer anyway, uh, and I'll send you an email with that offer on it. So you at least have something you guys, in your pocket. Do you guys do properties all over the place? All over St. Louis, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, you, you, you got something else? No, my uncle's got four different properties. Or I, it's three different properties, two or two family flats. What is that, in the city or in the, in the county? In the city, down over by Fountain Park. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, uh, we're doing, working on one over there right now. It's like 20 grand for a duplex. I mean, but it's that cheap. I guess it's okay. <laughs> yeah, they are fucking. He's got a four really? family, two, four families. So he, I mean, they're cash cows. Yeah, they are. I'm jealous. I fucking want, I want them. I know that's right. So if uh, if you do bring us somebody that wants to sell like that, and we do a deal with them, we'll actually pay you too, just so you know. Cool. I'll uh, yeah, yeah. I'll throw work. your contact on my phone, and uh, I'll use it as a, a little back pocket thing. I got you, boss. What was your yeah. name again? My name is Chris, and I'm with St. Louis Cash Buyers. I just sent you a text as well, and uh, here's right. my my my. Uh, website all of that stuff if you have any other stuff anything with real estate that's what i do i specialize in solving problems with real estate complex situations financing situations we stopped over 50 auctions last year like i said on auction.com so you know we really are deep in the weeds in this stuff and solving problems for yeah yeah that sounds like a fucking great plan i uh i've got a group around me right now that is doing it Kids all my age. Was it a local group here in St. Louis? No, it's just a group of me and my buddies. I mean, my buddies got uh, a duplex trying to buy a second one. I mean, my uncle's trying to buy a house right now out in Baldwin. Another one in the same neighborhood that he just bought that one and fixed it up and flipped it last year. Yeah. And so you're all around the real estate genius. Should I try to? I mean, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to learn from the best. Well, now you got a new one in your pocket named Chris Monroe. So I'll let you get back to your oh, day. Yeah. And I'll hope to talk to you soon. Peace. All right, peace. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at wokesource.com. Get your seven day free trial today. Wokesource.com. That's wokesource.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you code call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, wokereply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today wokereply.com that's wokereply.com